Welcome back to a new video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use scrolling frames inside Roblox Studio. So here is an example. Let me zoom in. As you can see, this frame we can scroll and if we open up the build inside here, you can see this container. This right here is the scrolling frame and we can even duplicate uh, these frames and they will automatically lay out into this grid like so and yeah I'm gonna show you guys how to use this um, I know at first I was pretty confused as well but hopefully this video helps you guys understand how this object works check out gfxcomment.com for the best design template for Roblox so if you take a look, we have new anime sim kit version 2 and check it out right here. Over 14 frames. Check it out. We also have free stuff right here. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And this will automatically add um, to our canvas right here. Now for my plugins, uh, check out the plugins video I did a while back. But basically I'm using UI tools. This is the new version. And so now we're going to hit set anchor to 0.5 and 0.5 with the X and the Y. And this will place our frame right in the middle. And now we can take these sliders and enlarge our frame as we need this to be like so. So how a scrolling frame works right here is these are our boundaries. Oh, so I'm not sure what's wrong with my studio fonts. So uh, if you guys aren't able to read this, I'm sorry. I'm not sure how to fix it. But right here we have canvas size. And the Y right here, you can see it's at 2 for the scale. And if we increase this to 5, you can see there is a lot more room to scroll. I'm just going to keep this at 2. That's fine for now. Let's get a background color. I'm going to make this red and lower the transparency to 0.7. This is helpful uh, for us to see where our contents are going to be uh, within, basically. So inside the scrolling frame, let's add a new frame and also hit the plus, type grid layout. And for the frame, uh, very simple, let's add a corner, change the corner radius for scale to 0.2, actually 0.1, offset 0, and we're going to, oops, we go right to the frame, change the background color to a nice light gray, like so, and we're also going to add a stroke right here with a thickness of 2 or 3, I think, I think 3 is fine, and for the grid layout we change the cell size on offset first let's do 125 by 125 I like how this looks and now for grid layout and change this to cell size and we're gonna hit scale and you can see this converts from offset to scale and we're gonna take the frame we're gonna go back to size and also hit scale boom now we're just going to copy these let's go back to grid and let's also change the padding from offset to scale as well so I'm going to do 0 0.02 0 0.02 for both and we can also add some padding so padding top scale 0 0.01 I think it's fine and also maybe on the right side 0 0.01 as well um, let's reduce a few things this is mostly trial and error uh, zero for the offset here I don't want any there so zero okay so we have to decide I want five frames in a single row with 0 0.02 in padding so that means we have to lower the size of each frame so if we go to so if we get a grid back to cell size back to offset I will adjust this from 124 to let's say 115 and this is a lot better and uh, let's scale 
We're gonna go back to Patty. Let's add some on the left side, 0 0.01. Now, we shall continue copying these. And you can see this actually, this is working pretty well. Let's go to scrolling frame. I'm gonna hit remove background or just go to background transparency and hit turn this to one. We're also gonna hit scale for size. Make sure this is scaled. All right, I don't know why the selection is still appearing, but as you guys can see, we do have a working scrolling frame like so. Now a couple things you could do with this, you could also change the direction right here to X, but this will require you to add um, some values to the X axis for the canvas size. So two, and now you can see we can scroll Pretty nice, huh? We can also change the thickness to we can lower it to five or also increase it to 20, which looks pretty bad. <laughs> we'll keep this at like 10. I think it looks pretty good. And yeah, that is the basic tutorial on how to use scrolling frames inside studio. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And yeah, I appreciate all of you guys. Check out our store, gfxcomma.com. And I'm going to see you guys next time.